Hello viewers, another day, another tutorial. And today, I have a tutorial on a RAM preview. And now what I mean by the RAM preview is that you can render a certain amount of time and you could see that on a real time. So it's not like you render it out. You just let the video load on your timeline and you could see the video in real time. So there won't be any laggings or anything at all. Let me prove you what I mean by that. So let me just find any clips, open and uh, as you could see, I have a video uploaded here. Right? And to RAM preview, it's really, really easy to do. And I know a lot of editors doesn't know this trick as well. And uh, if you really don't know what a RAM preview is, just simply Google it. So what I could help you guys right now is to explain and let you guys understand what a RAM preview is and what is it helpful in any time so example let's just say i add a bunch of effects if i just play the video by hitting space or inner it don't lag any second because i didn't add any effects any difference any different change it's all applied and the video plays real time and sony vegas is known as to that which is real time playback but sometimes when you're adding like a bunch of effects such as let's just say a hard effect mm, a hard effect could be a glint this is a tough one it takes a lot of time to render it out so let's just add a preset called sparkle and drop it on this video and as you can see it's taking the effect and as you can see let me try previewing this by hitting space It's lagging very hard. This is not fixing the problem, but show you what is the solution. So um, let me just trim this video from here because I like how it starts. And uh, to preview this on a real time is very simple. Just select amount of time you want to render out by clicking and dragging and just choose the re region area. So if you just want to preview this amount, sure, go ahead. And what you do is go to options, sorry, tools, and find build dynamic RAM preview, which is shift B. So let's try that out. Shift B. Now it's rendering. And let's just say, let's just preview those. As you could see, it does not lag. It all depends of what effect you're using. The rendering time may differ. Or by changing this preview into best full, will give you an amount so if i render this on best full maybe the limit is three seconds while preview half can do about six seconds and as you could see this takes more time to render so this is basically it what a ram preview is this is not actually rendering this out but um showing you a real time of what you have and uh, seeing it in a real time that's what you call a ram preview and there's a way to increase your RAM preview and this is how it is. Go to options, preferences, and click on video. As you could see, dynamic RAM preview max is set to 350 by default, right? So there's a solution to this. Um, if you wanna gain something, you have to lose something. Cause I don't know, that's just the way it is, just like life. If you have to get something, you have to sacrifice something. So this is the same. If you want more RAM preview, you have to sacrifice rendering time. So let's just say if I will bring this up to 1000, it will give me, uh, ignore that stupid message <laughs> and click OK and render this thing out. This will give me a lot of more time to render uh, in the RAM preview. So and but when you're going to render this whole video out, this will kill your time so it will take around like five hours depending on what you have so i suggest you go to options preferences and change this every every time while you're editing bring it up as max as possible it all depends on how much ram you have how much processor you're using so it may differ so i suggest when you're rendering your video out set that to zero and click apply and ok and render this video by clicking render as but when you're not rendering and want to, you know, work on, on the flow, bring this as up as possible because you have to make use of 
your problem but i'll just default this all back to 350 because default is all right not bad so i hope you understand what a ram preview is and how it's useful and uh, i hope this helped you so if this helped make sure you click subscribe or click like below so that people will know that this was helpful leave a comment below if you have a problem and if you have any suggestion or problems make sure you leave it as in my channel moderator box and i will make a tutorial on that or answer it back as best as possible so thank you guys for watching lg out